in the previous episode of Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. Oh yeah, she died. Oh no, you bitch! Why did you bite me? No. no. Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. It's dead. No! You know how they die. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family. Oh, well, man. I'm I, on a thing like this. Oh shit, Ben is not gonna make yes, it. Man, you bet. No! 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 Um, son of a bitch. Oh god, don't let them get to me! What? Go back. She needs you, Lee. Kenny! This is not a discussion! It's just something I gotta do. <laughs> Cracking up. You know that. Damn it! Oh fuck! Kenny, please! <laughs> Fucking get back into this. I can't be all. <sighs> Do you want to talk? This is stay focused. I'm say, we need to stay focused on what we're doing. I know we can't just take a minute, but you're not a machine. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny gone means Omid and I have to stay safe for her yeah you do yeah you do let me take all the risks that's not what I mean necessarily it's what I mean it's what we gotta do <laughs> Fuck. So be careful sad. I, I, had, it was, I don't even know anymore I don't know, when you go on such a long journey and you really care about the characters and when they die in such a way, I don't know. Like, I say bad and then he just dies anyway and I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to explain. I usually don't really care that much when sad things happen. Like, to the moon, for Ruby example. Just up ahead. That's supposed to be like a super sad story, but it didn't really do that much well, to me because careful. it just felt a little too cheesy for me. Like it felt too well, much. The buildings are full. I never know where the next meal is. But you know what? If I don't know, that's, that's a thing, a thing to, say. to say. I, I didn't mean. It's fine. Let's go. Don't be angry, Lee. No one likes an angry guy. All right. I would I would drop something on their head or something if I were them. Oh shit! Are we going across that? Marshall Hotel is around the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. God damn! Well. It looks like a death trap to me. Oh, <laughs> me! That's going first. You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg. And you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. I go first. I go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Come on, uh, Lee, you can do it. Do it for Clemmy, man. You're almost there, man. Just go nice and slow. I can't control how fast I go, Ahmed. I could probably pull this off. I mean, if you think about it, this is a really heavy sign. And... They, they can't just leave heavy signs just being Almost unstable there. and an falling down on people. Good. Especially when there's a sponsored thing. I don't know. I don't believe that. See, now it can fall off because that- Shit! Never mind. Oh, fuck! Physically, that should not have fallen Shit. off there. It should have fallen off in Are the middle. Are you okay? 
Fine. I'm kind of fucked here. What are you gonna do? I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? What the? Find me, when... me when you get down. What the fuck does that mean? It means what it sounds like. Hotels around the corner. Find Clementine and me as soon as you can. You're crazy. There's no other way. But here's my number. Is it going down? You could have gone up. What are you doing? The plan was to go across anyway. What the fuck? What in there? Lee, you are one badass motherfucker. I didn't know that. With a glass shard. Bad ass motherfucking name. Yeah. Fuck you. That's right. Fuck you. And fuck you. And you know what? I got a secret for you. Fuck you. Hey, how about you? Have you heard of this story? It's called Fuck You. That's right. It's a great story. How about this one? Hey, do you, have you heard about Fuck You? That's right. Fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. What's up? What's up, everyone? Anyone else want to fuck? Hey, have you heard about the story? Just don't fuck yourself. That's right. What's my middle name? Go fuck yourself. Fucking badass name, motherfucker. <laughs> Fucking that back. Woohoo! Hello. Oh, that's the car. Isn't that the car we took the medical supplies from? Yeah, it is. Maybe they just used the same model. <laughs> that was epic. That was fucking epic. <laughs> oh, man. This game is just... It gets better and better, and you really don't expect it to get better and better, honestly. I... In episode 3, I didn't expect it to be good at all. I was thinking, no, they're probably out of ideas by now to make it interesting. But nope. They have sleeves up there. They have a whole card of deck up their sleeves. Alright. What the fuck is that? No jump scares, man. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little fishy with the jump scares. What's that? going on in here? That looks like a trap. What's going on here? What is this for? Oh shit, there he is. I got us adjoining rooms. Uh huh. Hello. Hello. Okay. This is civil. You look horrible. Well, you look like a fucking douche. I look badass. Go over there. Do I look like someone who follows instructions? I guess so. <laughs> Put that your things down. Let me out. Who's out there? It's me, Lee. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. I only have this radio. This is all I've got, okay? <laughs> if he believes that, he's a fucking idiot. Look at his body. <laughs> you travel light. I don't believe you. Here. Okay, fine. That's what I thought. 
Ah, oh, he didn't give the glass shard. Sit down. Let's see what this motherfucker has to say. Do you know who I am? Some friend? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food. Yeah, that's what I thought. It was the car. It was the car. Things you need to survive. Well, me and Clementine didn't touch it. I'm not some cannibal, V. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. Oh, he lost his daughter? I coach Little League. Or... I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? She didn't want she me didn't to. She didn't want me to. She didn't want you to do a lot of things. What do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Well, I can already guess, but... Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Maybe now we get to have know yes, what happened. Of course. Why he killed the mayor. Who? My wife? My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. She's I dead. Her a long time ago. How? In, In a, a lot, lot of ways. ways. She traveled for work. I didn't like that. I wanted a family. A reasonable thing to want. So we fought, and it made my biggest fear come true. Got sick one day on my way to class. Cancelled it and went home. Found her there with someone else. Killed him. You should not kill the man. I was mad at her for so long, and I can't imagine how much pain she felt. How about you? I hurt her. So bad. Who? His daughter? My son Adam went missing. Huh. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. Why? We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back, and all our stuff was gone. Your people, V. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. So we fucked them over, huh? I'm sorry, man. Sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. Maybe that's the girl we saw in the woods. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? Kind of. We, we all, all do. do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. Oh, come on. Are you really upset about that? I was trying to find someplace safe for her. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. You weren't, you weren't there. there. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. Could have leave her alone. Leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off. No, she wouldn't. What's your fucking problem? 
I don't understand his How could his. You know all this? Yeah, the walkie-talkie probably. Yeah. You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief, and I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Are you fucking kidding me? I didn't steal from you. I didn't steal from you! But think of everything else you did! Well, so fucking After what? It's a Clement fucking zombie radio. apocalypse. I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the Come danger on. she was in... Get over yourself. Changed. Get over yourself, man. What Leave the fuck? To me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. Out of the I fucking bet question. I don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. It was her birthday? Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. I got Gosh, bitten, okay? I was bitten. You were what? Yeah. I probably don't have a whole lot of time. Wow. Okay, then. No. You're not taking her. Lee. I said no. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. Are you? I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. What's Thanks going on? What is he doing? Just about. I'm super confused. I seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. The bottle. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not. I'm controlling Clementine. <laughs> she wouldn't hurt a fly. Ah, no can. Oh, oh, fuck, man! I thought you were better than that. Oh, the battle. No, don't hurt him, man. Don't hurt him. I can't. I can't. I can't. Wow, are you fucking serious? Don't, no, 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 don't hurt him. Don't kill him, man. Don't fucking kill him. There we go. Just go away. You don't take Clementine from me. Okay, maybe not. Alright bros, hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't miss tomorrow because that's the last episode. It's gonna be a heartbreaking one. Like and favorite if you enjoyed. Subscribe to come my bro today. And I'll see you next episode of Whatever I Love you bros.